Hey, welcome to the Oversteer Show. My name is Ben, and today I'll be giving you my driver predictions for the 2024 Formula One season. I'm an F1 fan that over in America, been watching since about 2019 and 2020, so if you want to take everything I say with a little grain of salt, but I figured I'd give you my humble predictions today. Stick around if you like this video. Uh, go ahead in the comments, uh, give me your lists or your predictions or tell me why I'm wrong on mine. But go ahead, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe down below. Uh, I plan on putting out more F1 content on this channel. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So I'm gonna be starting at number 20. And at number 20, it is going to be Logan Sargent. Uh, 2023 was his rookie year. Uh, didn't really show much, underperformed with that Williams compared to what Albon did. Too many mistakes, but let's see what he can do this year, but I'm not expecting much, so Logan Sargent is gonna be 20th. No, 19th. In the 19th spot, I got Guang Yu Zhou. Um, now that's Kick Sauber team, really not sure what to expect with what they're gonna do with the car or what the car is gonna be like. Uh, but we'll have to see. I mean, Joe seems like a good driver, but let's see what he can do. 19. In 18th spot, I got Valtteri Bottas. Uh, didn't show much last season, usually finished towards the end of the grid if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but uh, like I said with Joe, uh, this Kick Sauber team now, let's see what they do with the car. Not gonna expect too much on him, so Botas, 18. Number 17, I got Nico Uckenberg. Uh, Gene's gone from Haas now. Or not Gene's gone, uh, Gunther's gone, sorry. I don't know what Haas is gonna do. Now you got uh, Ayo, Kamas Ayo Kamatsu, hopefully I'm pronouncing that. Probably butchering it, but he will probably improve the car Based on his just engineering background, he'll probably end up improving it in some way, but we gotta see what the Haas drivers will do, so 17th. And then at 16th, I got Kevin Magnussen. Again, he really didn't perform last year very well. Don't know what to expect with the Haas car coming up, but I like Magnussen as a driver. 16th. Then in the 15th spot, I got Yuki Tsunoda. I like Yuki as a driver, but RBs, the Red Bulls, the Racing Bulls. Let's see what they can do. I feel like Yuki would be able to get the most out of that car. A lot of other good drivers and cars ahead, so I got Yuki at 15. 14, going with Lance Stroll and the Aston Martin. I'm not a huge fan of Lance. Uh, didn't do much last year behind Fernando. Lance, if you want, go race in another series or go play tennis, but let's, let's open up that seat for somebody else, huh? Coming in at 13th, I'm gonna put Pierre Gasly. Uh, it's gonna be a second year at Alpine. Alpine. I think he got what it takes to fight for the top 10, but I don't think that Alpine car has it in it just yet. Uh, we'll have to see what testing goes like. Um, so, 12th. All right, at number 12, I got Esteban Ocon. Uh, like Pierre, I mean, I think they're gonna they're just gonna battle each other the whole season like they usually do. Um, I don't know if they're gonna get in each other's way, but that'll probably end up happening a few times, I'm guessing. Ocon's a great driver. I think he has what it takes to get in the top 10 again. Uh, I believe he was top 10 last year. Like I said, I didn't do too much research. I'm just giving you my predictions. 11th, I got Alexander Albon because he can get the speed and the quickness and he knows how to control that Williams car around the track. He's a great driver, he's shown it plenty of times. He finishes way ahead of where the Williams should have last year, so. Almost top 10 spot, 11th. Um, I'm guessing he probably could sneak into around eight or seven, seventh, eighth. All right, now on to the top 10. Number 10, I have Daniel Ricardo. Now this is kind of a biased choice because Danny Rick is probably my favorite F1 driver uh, since I started watching around that time. But I believe he can still compete. Uh, I believe that, like I said, just like Yuki, the car is gonna be reliable, I believe, or hopefully reliable, and I should, should be fast, and he should be able to get the most out of the car. But I believe he's a better driver than Yuki and has a, more experience, of course, so. All right, number nine, I have George Russell. This is being filmed post uh, Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari news, so I don't even know what that the season's gonna look like 
behind the scenes or in the paddock or between those teams, between the drivers. So it's kind of far back for George, but like I said before, there's a lot of good drivers in here that I think are fighting for that top spot. And George made small mistakes last year, but he did finish usually towards the higher end of the grid. So, and he's a great driver. So I believe, I believe George has what it takes to stay in the top 10, but I'm gonna stick him there at nine. Number eight, I got Fernando Alonso, the old man. Again, I don't know what's going to happen with him and Aston Martin. Um, I believe this is his last year there, or his contract ends either at the end of the season or 2025, so we'll see. But I expect a lot from him, especially with open seats next year. I mean, you got the one at Mercedes, um, I, probably something over at Williams. I don't even know if he'd go to Williams, though, so. But got him at number eight. Number seven, I have a driver from my favorite team, McLaren. We have Oscar Piastri. Big Oscar fan. I think he proved himself last year in his rookie season, uh, winning that sprint. The car wasn't very good in the beginning. It was really good at the end. So, uh, we were fighting the Red Bulls, the Ferraris, so. I think the car should be better this year with a couple new hires into the back end of the engineering team from other teams. I think we got someone from Ferrari. We got a couple guys. And I just, I believe that the internal communication between driver and engineers in the garage, in the paddock, and during qualifying needs to be crystal clear this season for them to stay up towards the top and even fight Max and Red Bull for that top spot. Finishing in sixth, I have Sergio Perez. Checo. Checo, Checo. Uh, I think he way underperformed last year in that Red Bull car, even though he still got second. I mean, he got second because it was a Red Bull car and that thing was just off the rails, so I think He'll still be fast this year, and he just he has to make less mistakes. But I'm really not expecting too too much. So six for Checo. Then in fifth position, I got Carlos Sainz. This is another one, like I said, after the Hamilton news. So he's not going to be in that seat next season. We don't know where he'll be at the moment. It's going to be a fun ride when we do. But I got Carlos Sainz in fifth. In the fourth spot, I am putting. Sir Lewis Hamilton. Not gonna be with Mercedes next year. The crazy news that Hamilton is going to Ferrari. Uh, it's said that he's not gonna give it, give up though for this season. He's still got his head down at Mercedes and he's gonna give it his all and he's gonna go out on a high. So I really expect him to give it his all. I don't know about the car or what made him decide to go to Ferrari. Was it the car, was it not, was it something else? I don't know if we'll find that out, but I expect him to be fighting towards the top spot if Mercedes gives him a good enough car, but I only have him down at fourth. Uh, and then in third place, top three, number three, I have Charles Leclerc. Charles. Charles? Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc. Now Chuck, Chuck Leclerc. Uh, he's got a new contract with Ferrari, extended contract, uh, so he should be giving it his all. Great driver. That Ferrari should be fast this year. We'll see what they can do with it. Let's see, third place. And then, number two. If you haven't noticed the two people that are missing, the first one is Lando Norris at number two. I believe Lando will finish second this season. I'm hoping for a championship for him, but. Another biased sort of pick here. I'm, like I said, McLaren fan, but I do believe Lando is a future uh, world champion. Great driver, um, as long as that car can stick underneath him and he can get the feel for it. He's gonna drive it balls to the wall. I expect a lot from Lando this season and the little mistakes he made last year in the qualifyings and stuff like that, I believe again, that's like the internal communication issues with engineers in the garage and everything else. So there's really not much else to say. The last name missing from this list, Mr. Max Verstappen. I have him finishing first unless something happens with the Red Bull. I mean, there's no reason to doubt he'll do it again. It's just crazy what he can do in that Red Bull. So if he's still in it, I'm saying he's going to win it again, which I know I hate to say, but. So that was my humble predictions for the 2024 Formula One season. Like I said, if you want to give me your list or your predictions down in the comments, go ahead and do that now. Subscribe, give us a like, and expect some more F1 content here in the future. And if you have any ideas for F1 content or things you want to see me do or anything like that, Throw some suggestions down in the comments as well. All right, see ya.